Okay. Corey wants me to do, hi everybody, uh, some demonstrations of different techniques. I, I start with one of the oldest techniques. Um, these things have been around for a long time. These are the uh, Valentine's Day uh, seized candies, and they're really good. Um, I like them because we used to eat them back in the Renaissance. And the funniest part is this is one of the oldest tools that we used to use. This is uh, dark chocolate, and this is milk chocolate. And what they both have in common is that you're basically drawing the heart, a heart on your work. So it's, it's a heart on work, um, which Mike used to always laugh. He'd say, you said heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah Mike, yeah, it's great. But uh, Ruben's liked it, and Combi also liked it because he was you know, really structured. And when you have a heart on your work, um, it's very structured, and uh, he really, you know, really liked it. Um, <clears throat> so this is a uh, dark chocolate, and this is milk chocolate. So the milk chocolate we'll use for the lay-in. <clears throat> I thought since we're, you know, using such an ancient uh, tool, that we might as well go with one of the classic Rubens poses. So, so we'll use the uh, milk chocolate. I'm going to bring the head down a bit, like make it more dramatic. Bring the rib cage this way. You guys see that? Okay. Yeah, the salons are, you know, designed to be more. Um, do your lay-in with the about the. Uh, excuse me. <clears throat> do the lay-in around the value of a half time, and that way you don't have to erase. Because then when you go in darker, um, you can just go ahead and uh, just put in your as soon as you put in your core shadows and your cast shadows. It'll really go away. And you go this way. And everything's, you know, it's all the same. Cal State Cool. Uh, so whether you're drawing with a brush or whether you're drawing with colored pencil, or you're drawing with a hard on. I mean, it's all the same stuff. And uh, good to go. There we go. And I'm going to put uh, this arm down. So it's very much a Rubenesque pose. I can use the same thing. So the pigmentation in the milk chocolate is not as strong as the pigmentation in the heart in the dark chocolate. Okay. So I can use this for reflected lights. And put in uh, the chest. And then we can use this for reflected light. Uh, I'll go here. And it's all about the pigmentation. Now, I'm typically known for the dark chocolate Milky Way, which was also a tool that we used. The difference is the dark chocolate Milky Way, you could just walk down to the vending machine, which was right outside the Pope's office, and he used to always yell, you know, quit drawing with the chocolate. I want it to, you know, be sustainable. It's got to be on the church wall for a long time. But we kept explaining to him that, this stuff was sustainable. And um, the good thing about this is that you can feed the poor, which worked perfect for the churches. Because, but then you had these parishioners, all the guests, you know, the people who would go to the church up there licking the paintings. And it was not a good visual for the uh, church. So the Pope didn't like it. I thought it was fine. And, uh, but I had access to it because I was one of the artists. So I would just go to the vending machine. So that was the good thing about the dark chocolate Milky Way. And that's probably the reason why I used it so much in my previous demos. Uh, the, um, this one here, this is different. Um, this is, uh, in order to get the seas candy, you had to go down to the, to the mall. And back then, the malls were pretty far away. So you had to, you know, kind of, you know, fire up the horses. And, you know, Hope was always on a budget. Hey, can we go to the mall? I want to go to the mall. He said, you went to the mall yesterday. Yeah, but I like drawing with the chocolate. There we go. So now we can put in the, use the dark chocolate for the, uh, Four shadows and the cast shadows. Okay. 
I always like the feeding the poor excuse because then, you know, I have access to the chocolate. And I thought it was important. You know, every now and then, you, know, you want to do more than just chocolate, you know, people walking around town. Um, I was able to draw, I've done it before. Um, I could, I did that once. Um, I did a drawing with uh, ketchup and french fries. It worked pretty cool. I was talking to the guys, this one person I was in, I was in Las Vegas at a conference. And this guy says, it's a true story. He says, uh, um, you draw with anything. And I said, yeah. And I took my French fry and I dipped it in a ketchup and I did a drawing with it. Really blew his mind. I said, no, it has nothing to do with the tool. Except this. This is really important because um, when you're drawing with dark chocolate, it's holy. In the Old Testament and the New Testament. Okay, so we got straight line here, curved line here. I'm going to come back in and put some half tones here, reflective line. See, it's a lot lighter. The milk chocolate's a lot lighter. Push that back. You notice your reflected light here. Hand so you can't show it. Mm -hmm. Let's roll it back. I went to I wanted to practice hands once, and I I grabbed a Rubens book. I'm going to draw every hand in this book. It was like three hands. He just kept using the same ones. Like, really? I never noticed it back when. It looked like he was doing different hands, but it was the same ones. Cross contours. Two half tones. You know, I think, um, I can't say for sure, but I think late at night, uh, if we snuck into the church, I think the Pope would be there licking the paintings. I, I'm sure. Because he, you know, he's always so happy and in the morning. Why are you so happy in the morning? You know, I say, hey, Pope, what's going on? Why are you so happy? You just smile. Like, you're doing night licking with these uh, chocolate paintings. I night liquor. All right, there you go. Yeah. Okay, so that's the first tool. And then, um, it's all done, have lunch.